So I want to preface this video by saying if the angle is a little bit weird, that's because I'm desperately trying to hide just how badly cracked my laptop is. I desperately need a new one, she is not doing good, she's not thriving and I probably will buy a new one soon but I've tried to angle it so you're not staring at how cracked my laptop is for the entire video. So hello guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video where I wanted to answer some of the most googled questions about rats. So you may have seen those videos on YouTube, I think they're by the channel Wired where celebrities answer the most googled questions about themselves. I am not interesting enough to have anyone asking me any questions about me but I thought there might be some questions about rats on Google that I could answer. So I think when you know a fair bit about a certain type of animal it can be really easy to forget the things people actually want to know about that animal. I'm really interested to see what the most Google things about rats is, whether it's about the misconceptions or just people googling how to care for them. It's going to be really interesting to see what is actually the top searched things on Google about rats. Also yes, I am screen recording in incognito because I don't know if you guys are going to judge some of the things I have bookmarked, nothing dodgy, I just don't want you guys to judge some of the things I've bookmarked, so we are going incognito. So I don't know what to start with, maybe we should go with, do rats, do rats hibernate? No, rats don't hibernate. So the next one is, do rats eat mice? And yes, potentially, in the wild, in their natural habitat, if a rat comes across a mouse, they will kill it, and they will potentially eat them. Um, rats do eat meat, so yes, rats can eat mice, and that's something I get asked quite a lot. Keeping rats and mice, people ask me whether you can put them together or introduce them, and the answer to that is absolutely not, because they can and will kill mice, so yes to that question. Do rats squeak? Yes, they can squeak. Rats make a series of different noises, and squeaking is definitely one of them. Do rats have bladders? Um, yes, they do. Rats and mice both have bladders. Not too sure where this myth came from. I did see one recently saying that rats don't have bladders, and they do. I think it's possibly to do with the fact they do scent mark, and they do leave little drops of urine wherever they go. That's possibly why people might think they don't have bladders, but they definitely do have bladders. Do rats smell? Yes, is the short answer. Rats can smell, especially if you don't keep on top of cleaning them as pets and also as pests, if people are Googling it for that reason. Rats can and do smell if you're not keeping on top of spot cleaning and you're not using the right beddings. Rats can and do smell, unfortunately. Do rats bite? Um, yes, rats have the potential to bite like most animals. They can and they will bite if they're threatened or they're scared. Rats can bite you and it can really hurt, um, but you don't have to worry about this too much with domestic rats. Possibly this is aimed at more wild rats that people are worried about, but domestic rats can also bite you if they feel threatened or if they feel territorial. It does depend on the individual rat and where you get them from. If you get them from a good breeder that is breeding for a good temperament and they don't have any hormonal issues, most of the time rats are not going to bite you. If they do bite you, it's going to be a little test nibble. A proper rat bite you will know about, but most rats, most domestic rats, aren't going to bite you. Do rats live alone? Nope, rats should not live alone, both in the wild and also domestically. Rats should be kept in groups. In the wild, they do live naturally in big family groups, and we should try to mimic that in captivity with our domestic rats by keeping them in groups as well. So, no, rats don't live alone, and if they are living alone, 90% of the time they shouldn't be. Do rats make good pets? Well, obviously that depends on you as a person. What you're looking for in a pet, obviously that will depend on whether the rat is going to be a good pet for you, but I'd say so. Obviously I'm biased. I have rats. I'm not going to tell you they're terrible pets, but yeah, I think they do make good pets. Do rats burrow? Yes, naturally in the wild they will dig and make burrows, and I think it is really important to try and replicate this when we keep rats and give them as much substrate in the bottom as we can. That's why I do recommend using a loose substrate with them, if you can, because it does allow them to dig in this. And I do know people that have given their rats a really deep base of bedding, and they have made little burrows in this. So yes, rats do burrow. The next one is really weird. I don't know why people are Googling this, but it says, do rats have bones? And yes, rats have bones. If they didn't have bones, they would just be a floppy piece of muscle and skin they wouldn't be able to function, so yeah, rats have bones. <laughs> okay, let's try, are rats, 
Our rats are nocturnal. Note, rats are crepuscular, meaning they're mostly awake during dawn and dusk. Are rats dangerous? Um, I mean, on the grand scheme of things, compared to massive predators that I would class as pretty dangerous, I wouldn't say rats are that dangerous at all. Are rats clean? Um, yes, rats do tend to spend a lot of their time cleaning themselves and grooming themselves, so in that aspect they are quite clean. My boys, on the other hand, I would argue they tend to marinate in their own pee, and pee where they sleep, which is not good, but you can let train them and they can be relatively clean to keep as a pet, so I would say they are relatively clean. Are rats mammals? Yes, they are mammals. Are rats scared of dogs? This one obviously depends on the individual rats and the individual dog and what that dog is doing and how that's reacting to the rats. I don't recommend ever allowing the two to interact or introducing them because they can be accidents, dogs can bite the rats. The rats could also bite the dogs if they're feeling scared. Some rats will be perfectly confident and not be phased by dogs at all. Other rats may be scared by dogs, so I do recommend not allowing the two to interact and just keeping them separate if you can. Are rats intelligent and are rats smart? Yes, rats are so highly intelligent. I'd say they are on the same level as about dogs and pigs. They are super intelligent and that's why they are used a lot in research because they are so intelligent, they can figure out things really quickly. So yes, rats are really smart. Are rats omnivores? Yes, they are omnivores. They do eat a combination of other animals and plants. Okay, let's try, why do rats, why do rats scream? Um, I don't know, it depends on what you're doing to make it scream. The only time I've heard mine scream is if they're really fighting with each other. It does sound like they're screaming, but apart from that, I'm not too sure why a rat would be screaming. Why do rats have tails? Well, rats have tails because they have tails, but their tails are also really helpful. They allow them to balance when they're climbing, which is super important. Their tails, as ugly as some people find them, are also really important when it comes to them thermoregulating. That's why their tails don't have the same type of hair as the rest of their body. That is because it does allow them to control their body temperature. So yeah, rats have tails for thermoregulating and balancing as well. Why do rats lick you? If your rat is licking you, I like to think it's because they like you and they're trying to show you affection and they want to groom you in the same way they would another rat. But most of the time a rat is probably licking you because your hands taste nice or your hands are salty. That's mostly the reason why rats are gonna lick you. Let's try, should rats, should rats be killed? No, is the short answer, but I know this is a lot more complicated, so I'm not gonna go into that one, but Personally, no. Should rats have hay? You can give rats hay if you want to. They're not necessarily going to eat this or do too much with it, but they do like to make little nests and things, and it is a source of enrichment for them. I saw someone say the other day that giving rats hay is gonna kill them. No, this isn't true. You can give your rats hay to interact with and make little nests, but they're not gonna eat this. It is just another source of enrichment. So I feel like I'm running out of things to search. Let's go for have rats. Have rats got good eyesight? No, rats don't have brilliant eyesight. They do have pretty terrible eyesight. They can't see too far in front of them. And this is made worse in albino rats. They do tend to have worse eyesight, which you may notice in your rats if you have one that has red eyes. Moose has ruby eyes and I've definitely noticed with him, if I go to give him a treat or if I just stick my hand in, sometimes he mistakes my hand for the treat. And that's not his fault, that is just because he does have terrible eyesight, so Nope, rats don't have the best eyesight. The next one is, have rats got a good sense of smell? Yes, they do rely on their other senses a lot more than their eyesight. And they do have a pretty good sense of smell. Moose was actually used as a scent detection rat. He was used to detect a few different types of smells. And they do have a pretty good sense of smell to do that, so, yep. Have rats almost ended civilization? I think we as humans do a pretty good job of doing that ourselves without rats having to give us a helping hand. I know the whole plague thing happened. Rats weren't really to blame with that. Our conditions that we lived in were pretty disgusting. I think we're the ones to blame for that. And if civilization ends again, I don't think it's gonna be because of rats, definitely because of humans. Let's try, can rats, can rats climb? Yes, rats are excellent climbers. They are so good at climbing things and yeah, they can definitely climb. Can rats swim? Yes, rats can swim. I don't recommend taking yours to the swimming pool, but rats can swim. If you've ever gone to like a lake 
or a river, sometimes you will see the rats, the wild rats, swimming across the river just to get where they need to be, so rats can swim if they have to. Okay, I think I'm going to try one more thing. Should my rats, should my rat have a friend? Yes, your rat should absolutely have a friend. You should try everything in your power to make sure your rats are living with other rats as they should. What should my rat's teeth look like? Well, your rat's teeth should be yellow. It is perfectly normal for them to have a yellow pigment to their teeth. If they don't, then that's when I would be worried, but some people do seem concerned they have such yellow teeth. This is normal, rat's teeth should look like that. And this is a picture of what rat's teeth should look like. And this is a picture of what they shouldn't look like. If your rat's teeth are misaligned or they have malocclusion, you will need to take them to the vet and have them regularly trimmed. But this is what rat's teeth should look like if you're wondering. Here is a picture. They do naturally have some flexibility. Um, but yeah, this is what rat's teeth should look like. Should I cover my rat's cage at night? No, I don't think this is necessary, and if you are covering it with a blanket or a sheet, chances are they're going to shred this to pieces, so nope, I don't recommend doing that. So I can't think of anything else to Google. Hopefully this has answered some of your questions, if you were curious about some of these things about rats. If you do have any more questions about rats or you'd like to learn more about rat care in general, I do have a bunch of videos on my channel talking you guys through how to care for rats and demonstrating it with my own rats if you want to check them out too. But I hope you guys found this video interesting. Please don't forget to subscribe to see any more animal related videos from me and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!